Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. I am starting a new series which is very much in demand, that is GRC, Governance, Risk and Compliance. It is very much in demand and people want to understand it from the very basic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a series or this is a concept, this is a topic which is full of, uh, you know, theoretical knowledge. Though we have practical as well, where I will show you how to create policies and all, but for the time being, at the beginning, you have to understand the process. You have to understand the basic meaning of each and every term. So that's what we are going to do in various videos. Once we are done with the basic, we move to the practical part and I will show you how to create these objects in ServiceNow demo instance. So let's start with the very basic, what is GRC? Let me share my screen. So I have created one article here, okay? And in this ServiceNow Spectacular, you can read all such articles starting from the basic. This is my part two, which I will discuss in the last next video. Okay, for the time being, write down here. Service now GRC. Then you will come to know about all the articles which I have written about GRC, like scenario-based questions in GRC, GRC real-time implementation challenges, interview questions, and all and all. Okay, so you will find all the material here. This one here, so what is GRC in service now? Explained like a just beginner in 2025. Click on it. You will see the very basic here. Okay, so let's start from this article. So to make the explanation simple, I have tried to compare GRC in companies with GRC in school. Okay, so school is my basic example using which I will try to explain you other concepts. Okay, so let's start with this article. So GRC is governance, risk, and compliance. In this example, you see this image. What is GRC? Okay, in the school, we have a governance model. We have some risk. And finally, we have some compliance. So what part is coming under governance? It is the school rules, which are created by principal. Here it is principal. It may be possible the school rules, which are created by, you know, management or anything. Okay, so here for the time being, take principal as the one who is creating rules why he is creating rules why he is creating policies so that he is able to run the school and finally ultimately reach the organizational goal here the school goal is to get education to give education in a proper way to the students in the same way if you compare with a company what is the ultimate goal of a company? It is to either you do some non-profit work to help someone or to produce profits. Okay. So to doing so, achieving this, they have to provide, they have to make a proper governance model. What they do in that governance model, like in school, they have to create rules. They have to create policies. Okay. They have to consider each and every part, each and every function of the company, of the organization and create policies so that the employees or anyone associated with that particular company follow that rule. Why to follow? Because they want to achieve certain goals. Ultimate goal is very important. In any organization, in any company, any school, okay, you have to achieve certain goals. These are your organizational goals. And to do so, you must have a governance model. Like we have Mr. Principal here, look at how smart he is, who is <laughs> creating certain rules to govern the complete school. So I hope governance part is clear to you. Then we come to next thing, which is risk, okay? So once the school is running or once the company is operational, obviously they are doing something in the same way in a school, they are uh, functioning, right? They are doing various functions like they are teaching, they are looking after co-curricular activities, they are sending the students to certain conferences, okay? They are conducting prayer, they are conducting exams. So all these are the function of a particular school. And while doing these functions, while doing these works, there must be certain risks which are associated with it, okay? For example, infrastructure. In order to do the function of a school, school must ensure that the infrastructure is good. It means during summer or any time when the school is running, the power supply will be available. What happens if that power supply is not coming? Okay, so this is a risk which is affecting the ultimate goal of the school, right? So you have to think all such possible risks well in advance, okay? 
there are certain risks which are run time which will come only when they occur but you can think most of the things well in advance this is what we call good governance policies this is what we call good planning okay so you have to take care of all these things so if the power goes out you must have the option of generator so that it will run automatically as soon as the power goes off so what we are doing here we are mitigating that risk by providing generator and resuming the power service hence the ultimate goal is now not be affected up to the level it was or it is going to be affected when the power supply is not there in the school for the entire day or for a few hours so you can reduce the risk or you can completely wave off the risk depends upon your planning depends upon your execution in the same way we come to company where we see risk as various things so right now i'm working in an it company so what is the thing which is very harmful for me what i can think as risk let's say cyber attacks right because this cyber attack can ruin the data of a company they can you know expose various things there can be ransom there can be various risks associated with the data right so how to avoid such risk for that we have it team they have to think of various options like antiviruses like server protocols like server firewalls okay various options are there by which we stop cyber attacks internal and external so this is how we determine the risk this is how we stop the risk or minimize the risk this is all about risk in school this is the simple thing but in organization you can think of a number of examples whatever function you are doing in that there are chances of risk right and you have to be very sure you have to think as an organization how you create policies how you create things so that this risk will be minimum so after g and r we have c that is compliance so we have created governance policies right we have created rules but are these rules being followed religiously if and only these rules are being followed properly then only we are able to achieve the success then only we are able to achieve the actual goal what we are looking for right for example one of the governance policy is during the exam there should be no cheating so that we are able to understand each and every student and able to give marks to them able to able to fairly assess them but in case in the exam cheating is happening on a very very simple way on a very very regular basis so does it affecting our goal yes it is very badly affecting our goal because just by writing no cheating allowed in the classroom is not sufficient right even uh, when we were students we used to uh, look here and there and find something right so just by writing no cheating it is not going to solve your problem you have to take certain steps okay so this is what we call as compliance we have to look after the policies whether these policies are being followed properly or not so what we'll do in this case in this case we will uh, make sure that two or three teachers are already there in the school whenever the exam is being conducted and they have to look after activities of each and every student okay and once anyone found guilty anyone find found up uh, being cheating anyone uh, is cheating okay they have to stop them they have to take necessary steps okay this is known as compliance so this is the example of school okay but in case of company as well we have to make sure we are 100% compliant or near to 100% okay but in case we are not it is going to impact very badly because in case we are not compliant to the policies in case we are not compliant to the vendor conditions the vendor is going to penalize us the customer is going to penalize us our business may go out because for example suppose i need 100 windows licenses for my company okay i want to purchase certain laptops and the condition is from my client is that we have to use genuine windows okay but due to some uh, money issues or due to some fund issues what i am doing i am purchasing only 50 windows licenses rest 50 i am using corrupt license or duplicate license so in this case when the client came to know that 
आई एम यूजिंग फिफ्टी आउटडेटेड और करप्ट लाइसेंसेस दे मे यू नो डिजोल्व आवर रिलेशनशिप और दे मे पीनलाइज अस एंड दे कैन स्प्रेड द वर्ड दैट दिस कंपनी इज डूइंग फ्रॉड ओके सो इन दिस वे वट एवर वी आर डूइंग वी हैव टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट कंप्लाइंट ईच एंड एवरी प्रोसेस मेनी प्रोसेस आर देयर एंड दीज प्रोसेस इज हैविंग सम स्टैंडर्ड्स विच आर डिफाइंड ग्लोबली विच आर डिफाइंड बाय all the you know necessary frameworks okay so we have to follow such standards so how to ensure that we are following all this we have audits okay so in these audits what auditors are doing they are checking whether we are following all the policies with respect to devices with respect to storage with respect to networking with respect to communication each and everything is being audited there and based on that our business may go up may go down because that report is very critical based on that our scores are being shared by other companies and they will see whether we are reliable for business or not okay so friends this complete grc is very important whether it's a school whether it's a company whether it's an organization everywhere concepts of grc are being applied everyone want to do business with someone who is compliant in grc who think and based on the compliance scores based on all these audit things the customer will come to know okay this is a reliable company let's integrate with them and let's take it forward so what we are doing in service now in service now we are using automation workflows you know creating all such policies risk flows and everything under a single roof okay the auditor can do the audits the auditor can fetch the reports the company can create policies the company can create the catalog items the company can create rules okay everything can be easily created imagine if we are doing all this in a single spreadsheet or manually it is a headache my friend but in case of service now all these things having a fundamental of workflow fundamental of ai support of natural language processing and various other features which is which is expediting these services which is providing clear picture in the dashboard so that you need not to go anywhere the management can look into the dashboard and these dashboards can be shared with others so complete picture under a single roof okay so that's why grc is important i hope i'm able to explain you the fundamental of grcs there is a lot which is coming on keep subscribing keep sharing thank you so much bye bye